We are the GHIT Fund, the Global Health Innovative Technology Fund. We're based here in Japan as a fund that not only invests in, but actually facilitates partnerships. Partnerships between Japanese entities and non-Japanese entities. And in fact, many of those non-Japanese entities are based in Australia. For example, uh, we work with the University of Melbourne, the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute, as well as with Griffith University. Malaria is a significant problem globally. So even though we have really great drugs, they're not effective everywhere and they're not effective against every type of parasite. And in terms of deaths, you're looking at around 500,000 deaths uh, throughout the world and 90% of those are going to be children. In the West, we like to think that it's all under control. There are anti-malarials out there. There are drugs that we could be using, and that's true. But many of these we have resistance to, and so we need to find better drugs. At Griffith University, um, we're doing a partnership for high throughput screening. Basically a technology that allows one to screen through hundreds of thousands of compounds to find the right compound, to find the right compound with the activity against the malaria parasite. So currently we're working with companies such as Daiichi Sankyo, Takeda, Mitsubishi Tanabe and Asai, and they bring those compounds to us. We then dispense them into plates which contain the parasite that we're trying to kill. After they've been incubated for a period of time, we then look to see whether they've had an effect on killing the parasites. And those that have, we can detect in our imaging system. So once one defines a hit, usually it's the pharmaceutical company uh, that drives forward the further development of that compound to create a drug. This collaboration is fantastic in that it has three groups who complement each other. So we have the Japanese pharma companies, and they bring expertise in drug discovery and development, and they have this enormous collection of compounds which are as yet an untapped resource. We have GHIT, which has managed to pull together significant funding from both global partners as well as the Japanese government, and Griffith University brings the biology expertise. So this research and development of new uh, malaria treatments is absolutely essential in our fight against this disease.